start of another Friday here. Uh, the first thing I do every Friday is um, sometimes I do it Thursday night but unload all the, the videos off my camera from the last seven days. <laughs> so I just got done doing that. And um, here's our Bricklink sales. Nothing too great but 47. I already have this 23, is it 23? Lot order packed up, because it, 30 lot order, that's the first one. That was from yesterday, just it was paid later in the day, so. Yesterday morning. Um, Brick Owl, we have five, so Brick Owl, looks like Beat Brick Link, even in money and parts, so. I think, I can't think so early in the morning. And then on eBay, 27. I was so close to getting um, uh, 1,400 listings for sale. And I, I was hoping to get that satisfaction, but now we're back down to here. I'm, I'm okay with it. That's the point. There's phases of work. The fa first phase is to get things for sale. The second is to sell them. So and the second is more should be more rewarding but sometimes you just want to get so much for sale and see these numbers but that's all right someday so here's a superhero again it's overflowing and somebody just bought 13 of them so let's get those out all right there they are and actually five of these i just put for sale yesterday so probably caused uh this amazing sale nice stuff all right, there's the eBay, it is done. I typically do Bricklink first because it takes time, and uh, but I don't have, I have less than an hour worth of Bricklink to pull, so I'm gonna head over there now, get some coffee. So what do we have? Brick Owl is five, and then Bricklink is four. So, my cart ready. 76% I didn't charge it which is all right this will definitely last <laughs> and um, yeah, I typically do Bricklink first just because it's usually less but just used to it so, so I'm gonna start with did I say I start with Bricklink first I meant Brick Owl Brick Owl I got mixed up a lot I had someone ask me my last vlog um, it's worth investing in uh, these things. They call them stack-ons or other words. I don't know. <laughs> um, it's like, how long would it take to pull 30 lots? I guess it's probably maybe a bigger order they'll get. Um, so here's 47 lots. I've timed myself before. This is an easy one. It's only 161 total items. It's like three items per lot. So 6.30 a.m., let's go. All right, there's the order. 161, it's 640. So as soon as I actually got to the spot I needed to pull an order, it was 631, so nine minutes, add another minute, 10 minutes. We have one same day shipping order came in while I was packing these up. Um, it's a 723, maybe that's 623 in my time, I don't know. There it is, gotta get the shipping labels done. Got to weigh a couple of them. I think just, yeah, it's just this one. Um, then I got to get to these. I got five. Yeah, five of these left. And the DC Superhero CMFs got to get listed. All right, I figured out my vlog situation. So let me just do them all. So if I select everything, it's 129 clips. 
So what I found out is like about seven and a half gigabytes is actually about 30 minutes. So, uh, I'm not sure I, it, I lose, yeah, at a certain point it doesn't tell me the gigabytes anymore. Um, so I'm trying to keep it. I have to like, okay, so from there, there's about 10 gigabytes. And then this one is eight more. So I have to do about nine gigabytes each video. I try to keep them the same. I'm gonna to try to do that better. Some are, sometimes they're like an hour and the next one's a half an hour. So I'm gonna split them evenly. Well, I'm not sure when I'll get uh, to 1400 on eBay, but this will definitely not help me this weekend sale. Enjoying the fresh apple cider. It's about five days old now. It is so delicious. All right, we have a live show tomorrow. We're going into the wild. It's uh, just 10 minutes away, so we're gonna go tonight, Friday night, and set up the tables and the cloth, and then I'll bring the rest tomorrow. This helps me, it's like a 15, 20 minute portion of it. And I'll be doing it myself, so I'm only going to give myself 90 minutes to set up my booth. So that should definitely help. Um, usually I won't have it done. I'll always be setting up the figures better because they just don't stay. And I have to build that one and a lot of them are off of there, but that's okay. It's no big deal. It's a small show. I might only even set up only three of these instead of the fourth one. Just because it's a small, it's, it's an antique craft show. And I'm just be going there selling this, so um, don't expect too much on sales. But there's some people local that like to come to the, the booth, so I like to offer it sometimes. Um, and this is, yeah, these are this is the pieces. I don't know if I'm going to restock anything there. I might, I might throw a bag in. It's just quite a bit down there. But uh, it's my lunch time. I'm going to go load up the tables now. My lunch here. All right, so um, got to rebuild these. I gotta put these back in eBay real quick. Not very many. Um, and then I'm going back to the DC superhero CMS. I got five bat mites. And back, I think this was in January when I got them initially. That's when it came out, I think. If, I'm, if I recall, I'm pretty sure it was this year, January, so like 10 months ago. I don't know, could be wrong. That's what I have left. And so obviously three are going to go to <clears throat> go to um, eBay. I probably just do two complete figs and then sell the accessories separate. All right, I counted 11 lanterns we have here. It's a good one. All right, so we put three on eBay. We put four complete to BrickLink, and I'm parting out four. Did I already say that? Maybe. <laughs> because I thought that thought. So then, so that means we'll have eight complete lanterns on BrickLink for sale. We ended up with 11 Jokers. I already put three to the eBay, taken out care of there. And this is what I have left in my store from earlier. It's probably that these are just too high priced. Like I've been saying, I just didn't go back and adjust it ever, so. I may part out two of them, maybe three, and then well, that would leave. I'll do three and then I'll do five complete, I guess. That'll work. All right, we got 11 Metamorphos, whatever his name is, so 11 of these, the worst one. Probably the best pair of legs, but the worst character all, all around, I believe. All right, so this guy, I got four complete to BrickLink, part out four, three to eBay. Oh, and this is what I have left from my original part out, beginning of the year. So I'll be uh, dropping the prices of definitely the torsos. All right, we have six Cheetah Girls here. All right, we have seven Huntress. So again, now three to eBay and probably part out two, two complete to BrickLink. All right, we have Friday's mail, three packages, all are from eBay, all are pretty related. Um, what is this? Oh, someone else wanted to do, uh, show me how the wrong way to ship a Lego set is. Look at that. Yep, that's pretty much it. The wrong way to ship a Lego set. There it is. If it's not in a box, 
or yeah, you can't do it in a box or a bubble mailer. It just doesn't work. So <laughs> here's the right way to ship a Lego set. I got one Lego set. I think I got this for 15 bucks free shipping. That was the same. Oh, they have a clearance sticker they took off. <laughs> I ended up only getting one of these, I didn't even realize it, so I looked on eBay to get a couple more because I like to part things out. And here we go. We have three more beach buggies, $15.50 each, and then two of the troll pods, $15.50, and it was all free shipping. So um, they got these, I got these for $11 before at Walmart, so a little bit more, but I only was able to get three, I think. I'm looking over there, I don't I think I have three. So now I have four, five, six, seven, and I'm good with that. Seven's a good number, and it has has a really cool piece in there um, with the dual heads. I thought that was something to get, and then that uh, that welder's mask is quite cool. So, and then I got these. So now I have four of these at least, and they're really easy part outs. I probably just didn't need to buy any more, but we got them. All right, we ended up with 98 extra of these. So. That's a big add to the store. All right, we have uh, 100, 208. These are adding too. So I think they will fit in here. Let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some. We just lost one. There we go. We have 99 stands left over, so that's a good add. And they're gonna be priced to sell pretty fast. All right, got an hour left of the day on Friday, so I might get a few things done more, but just the check of everything, if I can get to it. There you go, 174 and 9,708. 3,746 orders. All right, my Friday is almost over. We are heading to, uh, um, right at 3.30, we're heading to, um, to the, <laughs> to the rec center in Marinette, Wisconsin to set up our tables. Um, yeah, they're not bringing any Lego stuff. Just the tables and the cloth. We're heading to Green Bay. Do some grocery shopping real quick. I just used all these I had for prices. I made some more price tags. I needed, uh, and I'm just gonna go through this for the next 20 minutes. See if there's anything I wanna take tomorrow and list some um, Bricklink or so. We'll see what happens. All right, so I just pulled out a few things um, to put in the, my, my convention sh uh, sales stuff for tomorrow. And be honest, I do have another one in five weeks, the weekend, the Saturday before Thanksgiving. There's another Green Bay one that we do very well. And they actually almost doubled the size of it, so they rented another part of the bowling alley. <laughs> um, so there's going to be more vendors, and hopefully it keeps continuing to grow. I mean, we can't really grow any further from that, but at least there's more people that really wanted to sell and get more people to come there. So okay, put these away, and we're taking off here in a little bit. Tables are set up. All right, Saturday morning. Um, I'm going to be down here for like 45 minutes, maybe 55, and i got to head up and make my lunch and get ready to go. Before 7:30, uh, eBay, Bricklink, nothing too crazy. All pretty low. Lots. The Brick Owl has one, so I might be able to get most of this done. We'll see. All right, shipping is done. I was not able to do two. I mean, I could, but then I run late to my thing. So that's all right. Off we go.
right. Three, almost 3.30, just left the show all packed up. It was definitely better than I expected. My expectations need to get higher, I guess, because I just never think. Somebody did buy all of the Lego sets I brought except two tiny ones, so that was like, that was a pretty big surprise. I gave them like a 25, actually off 30% off my prices, which are already kind of a little bit low, but it's, uh, they're gone. I don't like selling the Lego sets at these because they just take up too much room. And we do have room to put stuff in, but until uh, the next one in five weeks, we have another show, maybe six. All right, Saturday night, everything is put away. And uh, I'll do some, you know, slim restocking over the next five, six, six weeks. I'm not sure when the next show is. Weekend before Thanksgiving. And we come home to mail time. This one, <laughs> the box is all beat up. It came in a box. These ones actually are better condition, and they came wrapped in brown paper with just car, uh, cardboard on each side of it. So, whatever. They made it. Doesn't matter. Boxes don't matter to me, and most for the most part. Um, but there we go. Uh, this is a Bricklink order from Canada. I'm not, I forget the name of the store. They didn't have it on there. So I bought three Bricktober packs for superheroes for 50 bucks each, and had them take them out of the box. I'll be selling these most likely on my eBay store. Because you know that guy alone, All right? And then lots of goodies for Brooklyn. This is like one of the bigger orders I placed before I deleted my Wanda list. So um, a lot of the stuff I probably have back on there. So what I'm going to do now that I got it, I'm going to go to my Wanda list and put this uh, order number in there and delete all the parts from this list that I put back on there. Because I know I definitely put that head back on there there and a few others that I saw in here before. Captain Jack Skeleton, I definitely put that back on. I didn't get it yet. So we'll get that back down a little more. And then it's got one trade uh, to the booth today. Uh, this is all 30 bucks. I gave him credit to the booth. So this guy is, he's got marks on it. I did, you know, I, ch I checked everything out good. He's mint. So that was a good one. He's mint. He's mint. He's mint. He's mint. This has a little bit bad. That one's good, but you know, it's not the best. And then these this is like I think ten dollars for all this I think I gave them and then 20 for that so this isn't the greatest stuff I have a lot of this stuff but it's good it's definitely worth it um, to, you know especially when I give stuff to my booth that is worth it if I were to pay cash I'd probably say about maybe six bucks for this maybe five so it's different when you take you know booth credit and that is it oh and this is just stuff not everything. There's some other weird things there. I, it got so slow at a certain point that I just started pulling stuff out of my uh, pillow bag that I thought might be good. And oh, I bought these. Four bucks, ink, printing, press, letters, and numbers. I don't know. Um, they're different. Very different. And I bought a scope for our BB gun that we just sighted in. Works pretty well. It's not supposed for a 22, but it, uh, it works fine. Oh, and somebody got an order in the mail today. New head. New head. New head. New head. Duct tape with his face? New head. Some weapon tri weaponry. And... Prime box. Thanks, Citizen Brick. So, how many of these do we have now? Three, six... What? Seven. We have seven, and um, I think I have one more of these coming. One, two, three, four, five, twelve of these. So next weekend, I'm going to either part out this one or this one whenever the, I get them all. I'm not sure if I have any more of those coming, but I definitely have four more of these at least, maybe five more coming of these. So I'm being offered to buy all these clone troopers. 274 of those, 293 of those, 341 of the original 501st. These are regular clone troopers with some of two of leg printing. These are the newer ones that came in that newer battle pack 2018. 
the older ones and these are ones that came in the micro fighter so those are really good so i am going to attempt to raise money for this but we'll see if it happens all right welcome to monday here's our ebay sales on saturday morning not great not terrible our bricklink sales on saturday morning uh, these two were Saturday I packed up. I haven't shipped them, but I haven't packed up now. That. Nothing too, too daunting of a task there. And then Brick Owl, we have six orders. All 13 lots or less. So, And then eBay. So I've been up for just a bit. I was able to pull all those real quick. That is all of them. Not much. <laughs> oh, the stupid, uh... New rates went in effect until December, what, 28th, I think? Nothing under $3, even if it's like an ounce. It's like 25 to 40 cents more for all of these. Alright, sold some of these guys. Imperial officers on uh, Brick Owl. There's the whole order. The next Brick Owl order, four parts. There's the final Brick Owl order. Ten lots, 150 items. Uh, Fifteen uh, parts of each one of these colors. The ten different colors, 15 of each. Pretty cool. Alright, it's Monday morning. Gotta get to my day job. So, all the Brick Owl are done. Two Brick Link orders were packed. And then all these will be packed Monday night, ship Tuesday. As my store terms say, we never, or we do not ship on Monday. Um, it's becoming more of a thing now. Because <laughs> I just don't have time to pack up. I don't do any work on Sunday. Okay, I might do a few things down here. Sorting, organizing, but just not for very long. Nothing to do with shipping or anything. So that is where we're at. We're going to ship those out and... Get to work. All right, I'm on my last card to rebuild. Three times skeleton army. This is all I have. Actually, another one. I already put three back for sale already, and actually some have to get photographed. Um, that one I had to change up. This guy did not have wings, so um, didn't could not rebuild too much. And okay, we'll get this built to look like that. I believe I have everything. And then we move on to Bricklink Order. Let's see. Yeah, we have this Bricklink Order with the Superhero Bricktober I just got on Saturday. And then I gotta process these Minecraft things. Figure out what to do with a lot of that. I got poly, single poly bags I'm putting up for sale. And then I hope we get into some of this stuff here. It's been sitting here for weeks. Alright, so I placed a few orders starting with the 13 lot, 20 lot, 11. So not very many lots. I did get quantity of some things, but my wanted list after I deleted pretty much everything is 113. My, my plan is the next four weeks is on Monday, spend about 200 bucks or less, and that's that's all I'm hoping to spend, and I'm trying to get to save everything for that clone army. But we'll see. I didn't I didn't guarantee I was going to buy it from the person. I said it's it's I'm very interested. It's possible. Um, just have to wait. I'll give them a for sure uh, uh, yes or no, like the first week of November. So I'll know. I'll know more if I really want to invest in it. Um, without, I'm not going to take out a loan. Uh, most of my, you know, profits and income go back into inventory or we pay off debt. So, and we we don't want to use our savings. Obviously, that's we put it in there and never take it out. So, unless it's an emergency type situation, which this is definitely not. Buying a clone army is dot not an emergency. <laughs> so, all right, it's a Pricklink order, a nice big one. It's from uh, it's from Canada. That's how I got this so cheap. Um, I guess cheap is cheap, right? Is it really cheap? I don't know. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to find it. Uh, it's a ton of parts here. Oh no. Yeah, it was from Bricks and 3D. These were okay. These were sixty dollars each exactly. And it was only $7 shipping. They sent it, yeah, it's from Toronto, Canada. So, so 60, yeah, that was 180 for this bag. 
and uh, the hold order was 267. Is that with the shipping? No. So, got lots of good parts here. Got some good minifigs. Got these. And we will go through this and then I'll do this at the end. Alright, so I was able to complete this many figures and in the end, it's a minor nightmare order. Got a hockey stick. That is certainly not a Lego hockey stick. The plastic already just doesn't look right and then that is not Lego. <laughs> oh, we had three torsos that were cracked. Um, what else happened here? So, this mummy torso, not in there. This uh, astromech torso, um, body torso, is not in there. Um, let's see what else there was. There was some other missing things. Nope, oh, I guess maybe just these three statues I bought for 93 cents, not in there. And that, that was it. So, yeah, it's always fun. Not a big deal. You know, obviously I'll just get a refund. I wouldn't want them to send more stuff from Canada, but I was hoping they'd get those statues, but no big deal. These are getting uh, up onto eBay priority because of the cost. So that my makeshift studio. I know I have a light box, but I have enough light right here in this area with this thing. So for now, I just do this. And I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get all these other DC ones up while I'm at it today for Monday. And then clean up this. Maybe get to the Minecraft and then see where I'm at. It's lunchtime now, so just gonna take these real quick and go to lunch. Okay, so more on this order. I just got a message back from the seller, and apparently they already refunded me for the missing item, so um, I don't remember, but I, I believe them. I'll have to check my PayPal. But so, when I first ordered, I said, please make sure the items have no damage. I made sure to buy the item because I had a lot of things listed that had damage, like cracks and stuff, so I did not buy it. I made sure I didn't buy any of that because I was thinking that they will sell anything in the store, even if it's broken, they'll just put a note, but sometimes they probably don't catch it, because um, that's fine, but I just, yeah, that's their store. <clears throat> so they sent me a message back already, so this is, and it said, I had to refund you for the missing stuff, I'll refund, refund you for the damaged stuff, so I don't see that here. So any, if you're a seller, I know it's easy when you get a message on BrickLink, you can just respond right from that email, and it goes to their email, it does not go through BrickLink, which I don't know about. Like with eBay, you, you when you respond, it, it it goes. You have to respond through the eBay messages, which is whatever they do that. As a, you know, so people don't just cut corners and sell outside of eBay. I get it. Um, Bricklink may want to look into that. At whatever. I mean, the email addresses are available. Well, I don't know. It's a different system. It's probably not as easy. But either way, so I have no messages from the seller, even though they already responded probably ten days ago when I ordered it, uh, or when I ordered it, October fifth. Yeah. When they packed it, those items were already missing. Um, and then they also responded saying they were going to refund for the cracked, and for the broken items just now, but it's not here. So it's helpful if you're a seller to just respond within BrickLink, because especially for people that order a lot, I, haven't, I don't remember them refunding me, but I'm sure they did. But yeah. All right, just finished listing all these. So I have every single one. For sale, I think now on on eBay. For some reason, I think there's one I don't have. No, maybe I think the Bumblebee I have two, but the rest I have all three or more. So we're at 1,362 listings. All right, we have a mess here. It is Monday mail time. So are these two? These are two separate orders. I didn't even realize this came in a box. This is an auction I won. No one bid on it except me. 8.47. So. I noticed they did ship it media mail to say I don't know if they're meant to do that they didn't charge much shipping But it definitely is not considered media clocks are not media media is like books and stuff. So Whatever it made it. It's pretty neat to have it in a box I guess I'll keep it in the box because I already have another one and then uh, this is the one that I got the Darth Vader and I should have got this one before so I didn't it probably was in this picture, but I didn't know that this sword is cracked and looks like some kid was hitting things with it but that's all right it's just for de decoration for fun um, and I do not have any more clocks coming I don't think I almost got the other Chima one I don't think I ever did though got one more of these 
And I know I have, I bought three together and then one more without a box coming. I th think that's it. So we'll see how many we have now. Uh, here's an order from Canada. I think this is just, they were just under 50, 60 bucks each. I went through, I just showed before, I got three more from another seller for 60 even. And then this one was under that. I remember that for sure. And that's all I got from them. And shipping was pretty cheap. I told them to take out of the box. And then this is order 130, 130 from the seller. And they still use ship at first class mail, but yeah, the prices are high anyway now. Um, and then I got four of these for 30 bucks each. I had them take two out of the box, so shipping ended up costing it 450 instead of it would be a priority of shipping instead. And the way they had it packed, they had these two in the middle, and then one of these on top, and then one on the bottom, and I almost cut those ears. I didn't expect, I cut as high as I could up there. Uh, well, I guess I, there was a little room I could have cut higher, but I, see, I split this bag open when I cut it, and it almost hit the ears. I was lucky it did not, so there's that. These are adding up. I'm hoping I get the rest this week, because I really want to part these out this weekend. Get them out of here. There's that nice box one. So now, right now, we have eight. And I don't think I have any more of these coming. But I'll either, like I said, I've said it before, this one or this one are definitely going. I'm going to definitely do one of these. I think I'm going to start with the Thanos one. And then, like, in a month later, I'll do another one. Because a lot of parts are the same in them. So I have 15 of those. Well, this is very strange. These are all the exact same. This one has like white in the background. And there's only one listing. And it just is listed as trans clear, so I don't know how to deal with that. It only comes in one set. So what is up with that? I don't know. Alright. Uh, this is that order. That was kind of, kind of a small order. It didn't look like there was much in there, but I could create a ton of stuff here. It was that 10 minifigures? nice. I'm going to put the, quickly put these up and my day is over. And I'll get to this, these uh, other October things tomorrow. I can just easily... I'm not sure if I'm going to... What am I going to do with these yet? I might take some conventions. I don't know yet. I might just put them in my extra bin for now. If I sell some other ones, I know that I have extras. We will see. Alright, my waiting for parts bin. It's looking pretty good. I have that big order. I think it should be here tomorrow. So they sent it on Saturday from California, so I believe Tuesday's the day it should come. Or Wednesday, but for sure by Wednesday. So that's looking very good. It's got these all listed. i got to put them away. Uh, put that away. And then on eBay, I got up to 1375 I only have about six or seven to photograph, so that's where I'm at. Until I get that other Bricklink order, and then I can raise it up. And here's my Bricklink store. And I have quite a few orders to pack up. I think I got five more today, but they're all under 10 lots. So I've got about 15 orders to pack up tonight after 6.30 or so whenever I get back down here. All right, got another trade here. My son trade with a friend um, while I was working at their house. And uh, he got one of those Grievous cape, Grievous capes, Grievous, Grievous, whatever. And then some other Star Wars stuff. I valued about 25 bucks, so I'll call it an even trade for this. All right, Monday night. I have every Brick Link and Brick Owl order packed. I only had two Brick Owl orders since this morning. All the rest went out. And all the orders since Saturday morning for Brick Link. And today, going out Tuesday. All right, we're back at it on Tuesday. eBay is not too bad for a Monday or... Sales on Monday for Tuesday morning. And then after I packed everything up yesterday on Bricklink, I got three more orders. So it's 8 p.m. last night. One is 85 lots, so gotta get doing get to that right away. Alright, 85 lots, 414 items. This is just over four items per lot. Say five. And six 26. Let's pull this thing. All right, there's the order. 414 items and 85 lots. So, took 20 minutes. 646. I gotta bag it up though.
Thank you.